What up guys, this is Kong and I'm back again for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Unpacking episode 19. So I'm going to be unpacking this uh, two Yu-Gi-Oh! Unpack, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pack I should say. Uh, I pick up the same card uh, pack I should say because I've been getting good luck so I want to do that. Battle of the Legend Lights Revenge and Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit Warrior. There you go. Do that a little bit long so I can get uh, a screenshot of this. All right. So I'm gonna start with Battle of the Legend first. I hope I get some good cards this week. Last week, I did not get any good cards. I got like two good cards, and I was like, I was pissed. I was mad. Man. But you know, it is a form of gambling. Slightly, I would say. Uh, you know, I'm not spending millions and. I'm not spending thousands and millions of dollars, you know. Ironically, I was actually watching uh, horse racing on TV. It was uh, called Pegasus uh, Invitation. You know, I think I believe it's in Florida. Um, I might be wrong, but they're uh, they're betting money like two dollars bet, and um, you know that they were talking about how like the owner would have to, uh, or the participant would have to put in a million dollars and uh, you know, they were telling how many, uh, the top five uh, winner do get paid. So I thought that was interesting. All right, so let's open this pack. Uh, this time I remember this thing face up and be surprised. Ooh, okay. I got, uh, I got some good card. I think I got four out of five good cards, so that's always good. But let's go through this, all right? The first card is Transmodified. So this said, set, send one face up monster you control to the graveyard. Special summon one, special summon from your deck. One monster with the same type and attribute as that monster in in the in the graveyard but one level higher you can only activate a one transmodify per turn that's an interesting card so you set the monster face up to the graveyard and you special summon a monster with a level higher Huh, that is interesting. I'm gonna show this to you guys. Maybe I should put it there. I like this though. I have to investigate that a little bit more. How to use that card specifically. Lays on the Time Lord. I got that already. I'm not gonna go over that. And I may have this one already. Oh, may or may not. I can't remember. But it's called Super Heavy Samurai Helper. It's a machine type, obviously. Attack zero and defense zero. Uh, let me read the effect here. So I read here. During damage calculation, if your defense monster battle an offense opponent monster while you have no spell and trap in your graveyard, you can discard, discard this card, and then target one super heavy samurai monster you control. Other than the battling monster, your your battling monster gain equal defense to the that monster during the damage calculation only. When an opponent monster declare attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one super heavy monster in your graveyard and then special summon it. Okay. This, uh, I think I may have this one already. Uh, Perfumeal Odd Eye Dissolver. Um, it's a spellcaster, it's a pendulum. Uh, let me see here. Marisa, special effect for you guys. I, I, the effect. At the start of the damage phase, if your pendulum monster battle a mo uh, opponent monster, you can special summon. This card from your hand, and if you do, your monster cannot be destroyed by that by that battle. You can only use this 
effect of permeable iodide dissolved in once per turn. During a main phase, you can fuse and summon one monster from your uh, extra deck. Using this card, you control as fusion material as well as other monsters you control in your pendulum zone. Pendulum zone. Okay. Huh. I may have this card already. I think I my gut feeling that I my gut feeling telling me that I have it. And this is a really cool like a really uh anime, really uh uh really Japanese. I just call White Aurora Dolphin. And I love this look, it's just really beautiful. So it's a uh, fish synchro effect. I'm gonna read this uh, effect here for you guys. Once per turn, you can target one face up monster your opponent control. Its attack becomes half of its original attack until the end of this turn. If the card you control is destroyed by an opponent card by battle or card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can banish this card. You can banish one other water monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card. If you do, it is treated as a tuner. Yeah, I really liked this look. It's got the really, really uh, Japanese kind of look to it. Really uh, cute, you know. All right, moving on to you, uh, Spirit Warrior. Face up, of course. Wish me luck, all right, guys. Oh, I should say face down, but whatever. All right. Oh, I got some great cards here. All right, so I have good luck this week, as you guys can tell. So this is the first one is Hand of the Six Samurai. If you control another Six Samurai monster, you can tribute one Six Samurai and target one monster on the field destroy that. That's that's cool. Uh, Magical Musket Desperado. It's a trap card. It says if you control a, a Magical mus Musket monster, target one face up monster on the field destroy it. You can only activate one Magical Musket Desperado per turn. Okay. And this is a badass car here. Legendary Six Samurai Shinhai. If you control Legendary Six Samurai Mihiso, you can special summon this car from your hand. If this car is on the field, on the field is tri tributed, target one Six Samurai monster in your graveyard, except Legendary Six Samurai, add it to your hand. So if you have Mihiho, then you can special summon this. That's really cool. I'll show you that. Started liking these samurai here. And this is a uh, Shin Advisor. Did I have two? Oh no. Okay. Shin Advisor. If this card is normal summon while you control a six samurai monster, declare a monster type while this card is face up on the field. Monster with a declared uh, a monster type cannot attack or be special summoned. Oh wow! So if you know your monster, your opponent is a uh, is a, uh, a synchro, you could use this, and they cannot attack or be special summoned. That's pretty cool. They cannot declare attack or special summon. Wow, I like this card. The last one is uh, Weather Paintings Painter's Sun. And it's a holographic card. 
first edition of course this is a very uh let me read the effect for you guys if this card is is in your graveyard you can send out send out one continuous spell or trap monster you control to the graveyard special to summon special summon this card in defense and if you do place one of the spell uh the the weather spell and trap from your hand face up in your spell and trap zone. You can only use this effect of weather pink the sun once per turn. Once per turn during the standby phase of the turn after this card was banished from the field to the, the from the field to activate the weather card effect, you can special summon this banished card. Okay. Yeah man, I got a lot of good cards this week. I got I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of ten cards. I got some really, really good cards this week. And um maybe uh seven I would say. I may have this card already, the super heavy samurai helper. I may have that already. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven cards, so that's really, really good. Two uh ultra rare, I would say. Uh yeah. I like it my luck this week. But anyway guys, I want to say thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my uh my Yu-Gi-Oh unpacking. I really appreciate it. But most importantly, please like, thumbs up, share, browse, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press that bell button. Much appreciated. If you guys do that, it will help me a lot. But again, guys, thank you so much.